What up, YouTube? We back at it again. Um, we are checking out uh, a little bit of the warning. I, I think that this, uh, at least the lyric video version of this, dropped in the past eight, nine hours, from what I saw. Um, popped up in my feed. We're gonna check it out. Um, do me a favor. If you're new here, if you're not new here, run over to the warnings page. Please go like and subscribe. Um, if you like what I do, please like, comment down below, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Appreciate it very much. It does help out the channel. Um, so I think this song, the song itself is a little older. Um, I think this might have came out towards the end of last year. Maybe I'm wrong. I could be wrong. Um, or it might be older, much older. This is just a lyric video. So um, I, I didn't even search to see if there was, honestly, if there was a live or a music video for this. I'm sure you guys are going to let me know right away in the comments, though. Um, but this is this is a, a lyric video but they do like visualizers with their lyric videos from from what i gather and it looks like it looks like they yeah it looks like they did the same thing here um i pulled up lyrics i haven't read them yet but um i, I just do that just to make sure with something that's new to me that it's in english um that's really why they're pulled up but let's dive in I don't want to stop this too much. Um, so this is uh, this is cool. This is this is anthem esque. Um, this is one of those ones that like I feel like would fucking slap live um, because you have the you have the background vocals. Oh oh right. Um, and this is another one of those ones that the the lyrics are like are I think purposefully vague. Um, is this how you call a dream? Uh, let me see here. Uh, running out of things to say isn't it um where was i at here isn't it normal to love how we hate it's draining out of me i'm in too deep give me something it's basically just like um and, and anybody can relate a different way um somebody who feels stuck in something um that that otherwise you know people may want it could you, it, you could relate these lyrics to a relationship um this is what you call a dream i want out um success you know if 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 you you get big at something that you might not have otherwise wanted or intended to and or you you dreamed of 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 achieving something and once you did it just it wasn't panned out what it what you what you thought it was it it could relate to society as a whole um you know like uh just this the state of how things are right now and and um this is this is what you guys dreamt of is is how how this is you know so i mean you you could you could really apply this to a lot of things i don't think that that's the intent um or a lot of times like and i think they wrote this collaboratively um but uh it, i think that i think that they like i think that they have something in mind when they write it right one of them does they sit down put pen to paper and then in writing it they don't specify details on purpose right they're not like um you know this this whole uh this this whole social media world is it's uh we hate it blah, blah. they're not specifying exact details on what what this hell is that other people are you know it's hell to them or hell to whoever whomever the um the narrator is in this in this uh in this song but 
um, but what otherwise others might consider a dream, etc. So I, I think that they're they're purposefully kind of leaving it open, which they do on on, on a lot of songs, from what I've noticed. So these lyrics are important, right? So um, eyes are always open in the dark. So basically just sleepless nights, the shit, whatever's going on, it's just keeping me awake. Just non-step, non-stop thoughts running, right? Um, I've been underwater from the start. So just feeling, and they've done a couple other songs when you talk about like choke and that the, the, just basically the sense of this overwhelming feeling of drowning in something, right? Um Rope is wearing thin. Um, I can't take it anymore. Basically a breaking point where it's just like, I need to get the fuck out of whatever this situation is, right? They should have paused it right when, when Danny was going on a scream right there. I love that bass drop that Ali just did right there. Hold on a second. And it's how you call it dream. See, that's that's um that's up there. I love that. Um, yeah, that song hits. I I think that that yeah that'd be that'd be that'd be really fun to see live. Um. And and I'm I'm glad I mentioned Ollie by the way because I was listening to her the whole time. Um, she kind of stood out on this song, and I didn't I didn't even say it at all because you're I was just trying to pay attention to the lyrics. But um, but uh, yeah, I don't I don't I don't think she gets enough credit on on stuff where it's I mean it's tough with with bands because you're you 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 pretty much are forced to focus on a a, a lyricist right a lead a lead singer. Um, but that was definitely, um, Ali did work on that song. Um, they all did, but I was, it's, uh, some songs I, I hear the bass a little bit more. Um, but no, that was, that was badass. Um, I think, I think there's intent there. I, I don't, um, I don't, I, I don't know what, what, what album is this off of? Cause a lot of, sometimes they'll, they'll sort of tie songs together, right. Or artists in general will just as a whole when creating an album, like, they make them sort of interrelated. Um, but uh, another banger. It's kind of what they do, I've, I've learned. Um, cool, yeah, and I, I intend to get to more. Let me know if there's a if there's a, a music video to this or, or something that I missed alive. I'd love to see this live. I could probably just look it up myself, which I did not do. I'll do that after I, I stop this. But um, yeah, badass. Um, Cool. We're looking at, uh, yeah, we're looking at the warning. Um, Hell You Call a Dream. One thing I like about this is uh, it's it's catchy, and I like the fact that it's somewhat repetitive. Um, because it by the, the end of it, you're sort of sing you're you're able to sing it along, you're singing along, right? Um, and it's it's good to have songs like that 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 get people, the listener involved, because by the end of it, like you, you kind of know the the bridge, the chorus, you can kind of sing along with it without listening to it, you know, tens of tens of times, right? So I like I like how that's done. But yeah, please go support The Warning. Go like and subscribe, uh, the artists, first and foremost. Um, of course, if you like what I do, like, comment down below. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Um, we will catch you on the next. Have a wonderful rest of your Friday.